guys, Steph here. Now, as some of you people will know, especially here in the UK, last weekend we had some severe weather, we had some severe storms, and basically on the Monday I had planned to go out on a pen hunt. Now, the sort of, well, over the weekend I was thinking, should I, shouldn't I, should I, should I? Because again, the, the, the storms were quite severe. But yeah, on the Sunday night I decided, right, yeah, I'm going to go for it. And again, we got up sort of four o'clock in the morning and we set off. Unfortunately, um, on the Monday we, we had the storm Franklin was still severe blowing winds uh, there was flooding warnings everywhere so I set off and again for you people that know here in the UK I actually went over through Derbyshire over the hills through the dales wow it was quite hair raising <laughs> driving in the dark I hit numerous uh, areas where the roads were severely flooded um, the first one that I actually hit I thought to myself I stopped before I went through it I thought mm, should I chance it should I turn back and again against well maybe it was a good decision maybe not in fact I think against my better judgment I carried on through the first sort of section of road that was flooded it was quite hair raising it was quite scary and again um on the way there over the hills i hit numerous areas where it was flooded anyway lo, lo and behold eventually two three hours later i got to the destination uh because of the weather um yeah there wasn't so many people sort of selling etc so it was a bit of a letdown um we'll show you in a moment what we found but then on the way back um by that time it actually sort of cleared a little bit the sun was actually out it was still windy but lo and behold little did i know on the way back it was actually worse whether it was all the accumulation of the rains on the hills etc in one particular section i went through a sort of if you like a ravine with sort of if you like sort of cliffs on each side of the road and there was actually a a gushing waterfall falling on the road now what i decided to do quite early on this particular road i actually got behind a lorry and whereas normal circumstances i would have maybe overtook and carried on regardless i actually made a decision to actually stick with this lorry and what actually happened in numerous occasions again when we hit these these flooded roads i actually well, I actually drove within feet of the lorry in front of me, and the idea behind it, I thought, was that, and it worked, that the lorry would actually disperse the flooding and made it a little bit easier for me to drive through. Um, in a couple of, well, in a couple of these flooded areas, there were actually cars actually stuck in the flooding. In one particular area, the the the, the water was literally covering a car a car up to the the bonnet. So it was very scary. Whether it was a good dis well, to be honest with you, no, it was not a good decision. And to be quite honest with you. I will not do that again. Next time it happens, if there's flooding, etc., against my better judgment, I will say no, it's not worth it. So, for you people out there that leave messages for me and say, Oh, Steph, you're so lucky to have all these pens. <laughs> Well, the only thing lucky about it was the fact that I didn't actually stall within one of these flooded areas because it would have been, well, it would have been disastrous to be quite honest with you. So, no, it's not luck. In this, on this particular day, it was hell, well, hair raising, it was scary. And, yeah, as an afterthought, I would not do that again. So... It's not luck, 
in some cases it's actually been a bit stupid to be quite honest with you but either way we got there we got back safely and yeah we found some pens nothing special uh, as always we found the good the bad and the ugly i found this particular box here if i can open it and you can see it's got numerous pens in it uh well 45 I uh, don't know what that is, it's actually, there's a nice one here, there's no cap with it, it'll be good for a nib, um, this is a Parker 17, oh look, a Parker 17, the earlier version with this uh, open, open nib, I uh, don't know what that is, a quite a modern pen, another 45, that looks like a platinum, Parker 25, uh, a pack of slim fold anybody interested in a slim fold uh, message me another 45 um, that looks like oh a little junior very nice pens once restored they make excellent pens um, not even too sure what that is um, this is somebody's made a repair added two caps to one pen I think and if I unscrew all oh, right look it's a ever sharp skyline um that's had the cap adjusted obviously the top of the the the, the cap would have been missing and somebody's added this bit here but yeah that'll make it'll make a good pen for parts another modern pen and inside here what we've got is nibs you know little nib units for sort of calligraphy etc that looks like a Schaefer, another calligraphy nib. So it's got lots of little, sort of little calligraphy nibs, if you like. Uh, anybody interested in, the, in these nibs? Again, give me, uh, send me a message and, well, we can do something, I'm sure. But some of these pens are part, some of them will be restored. Uh, if there's anything of interest, give me a shout. So there you have it. <laughs> no, not just them, there was a few more as well. So let's show you the others as well. So, these are the other ones that we actually found as well. So, let's go to the back and have a look in this case, see what we've got, and uh, open up. Yeah, we've got a Parker case. Uh, again a 45 well a couple of 45s and a more modern Parker pen as well there uh, right to the back here that looks like a Parker case as well oh there we go that's a nice ballpoint pen um, not quite sure exactly which one it is but I know there's people out there that like ballpoints if you're interested as always get in touch um, what's this one? Oh, uh, a Parker 65. I've got quite a few of these 65s now. Unfortunately, um, what happens on these pens is they suffer from what we term as shrinkage on this section, which is, well, basically it's a replacement section that's needed. Um, we've got this ballpoint pen or a pencil. I'm not even quite sure what it is. It's got this little, I don't know, this little slit along the side. Again, not quite sure what it is. We've got this pen here, which again, I'm not quite sure what it is, but you can see it's got the clip missing. It's got a lovely cap band, as you can see there, but we'd need to sort of look into it. So, in fact, Oh, I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Let's take a look at the at my loop and find out what it is. Uh, oh, right. It's an ever sharp pen. So an ever sharp pen, but we need a clip for this particular pen. Ha ha! So you people will look at this box and say, I've never heard of a rotary pen. Well, that's because there isn't one. What I also bought, because I didn't buy too many pens and I thought I didn't want a wasted trip, uh, I saw this and actually, well, I got it what I believe to be a nice price. So you can see 
it's a watch, it's a rotary watch a lovely watch as well, it's got a leather a leather strap and it's a rotary again let me have a look over the ah, so it's a rotary Maximus 21 joule watch made in Switzerland it's a lovely slim watch it's got a little bit of engraving to the back there but the nice thing about it it's a solid gold watch as well it's a nine carat gold watch lovely condition um, it's been in working order it needs winding up but again I know there's people out there that buy watches or may, may be looking for a watch if you're looking for a nice gold watch in lovely condition get in touch so back to the the pens okay we've got a nice is that a vacuumatic or a dofold oh it's a parker dofold I think you've got double jewels uh, as you can see the nibs dirty so yeah that'll make a nice pen once we've actually restored it another parker here you can see it's got parker on the ball clip there um, it's in this sort of nice sort of brownie colour again needs cleaning needs restoring now it's, I'm saying it's brown but I'm not too sure if it's actually if it was a different colour and it's discoloured but if it's discoloured it's actually discoloured nice and evenly so it looks to be brown and as you can see it's a button filler so we'll uh, we'll restore that I'm sure somebody will enjoy a nice pen like that I'm not sure what this is let me have a look over with my loop again ah it's a Voss pen V O double -S, S again it's oh it's some sort of a button filler uh, the cap you can see is quite dirty it's got a nice in fact it's actually got a Voss gold nib on it so I've never heard of Voss the only problem being it's actually got a crack on the cap somewhere I think it sort of looks to be a bit split and it doesn't look in the best condition uh, but it's a Voss pen anyone looking for parts for a Voss pen you know what to do well this one's nice and easy we've got Conway Stewart there nice little nib on it that'll come up nicely somebody will enjoy that one as well uh, what we got here uh, hey Mentmore oh, that's a nice pen a nice Mentmore we've got a Mentmore nib as well so there we go that'll come up nicely uh, oh this one's a nice one it's a summit I'm not sure of the model if you just bear with me again it's a summit S175 you can see it's got this nice chasing pattern to it a nice summit nib as well that one will definitely be restored it's actually in quite nice condition we'll just restore it give it a new sack give it a polish give it a clean yeah another pack of 45 um all oh right i think that's that might be the matching pencil to the conway stewart here yeah so we've got a a set we'll sell that as a set uh this nice blue one here what have we got just again have a look. Oh right, another Mentmore pen, as you can see in this blue colour. Yeah, it's got a nice Mentmore nib. The clip looks to be sort of worn a bit, whether it was plated or not, I'm not too sure, but a lovely colour. Nice blue Mentmore. Um, this again, another unusual one. Let's have a look. It's a artist favorite so an artist favorite pen never heard of it again it's got a nice nib on it you see it's got a 
ink view window there okay so anybody know anything about an artist pen and why not share it with us now what we've got here is let me have a look again yep looks like a a Waterman 52 okay yeah it's got a nib with it as well rather uh, discoloured as you can see there sort of olive colour but once we've restored it I'm sure it'll make a nice writing pen for somebody so a Waterman 52 and last but not least I think if you like this is the most interesting pen that I found on the day you can see there it says Gunther Wagner it's a pelican pen you can see it's got M so I'm assuming it's medium and I believe for you pelican people that sort of know all about the pelican pens you can actually tell which one it is by by the box but it's a nice nice example it's got instructions to the bottom there for a filling pencil and to the top it's got the instructions for the pen so as far as I'm aware the original box the original instructions I believe it to be um, one of the 100 series um, it's got sort of Gunther Wagner Germany to the top there it's got a nice nice nib you can see it's quite dirty so hmm, not too sure what I'm going to do with this one I may actually restore it because I believe it's a piston filler um, but if anybody knows what what model it is um, it would be appreciated I believe as I say it's the 100 series but uh, anybody know anything different with regards to this Gunther Wagner please let us know and share with all of us and yes that is it that is what we found today as you saw a couple of decent ones this one's the most interesting one in my opinion but a lot of trash as well a lot of parts pens but once again because it was quite a scary day well not just a day we started off as I say four o'clock in the morning you know driving through flooding at night it was <laughs> as I said earlier it was rather hair raising so as I said to you people it's not luck sometimes you've got to go out and find these pens and in some occasions like Monday it can be quite <laughs> well quite crazy it was it was a crazy drive to be honest and again i wouldn't do it again next time this you know there's they have a weather warnings with flooding etc i'll just simply say no it's not worth it so i hope you've enjoyed looking at all these pens don't forget leave a comment down below don't be shy just there give that video or this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well and don't forget people wherever you are well wherever you are and also our ukrainian friends as well you know it's tragic what's happening over there at the moment so wherever you are please stay safe but for now i'll just say bye bye for now